Hello and welcome to this week's episode of CU Environmental Club TV. This month's theme is all about sustainability. And so this week, Caitlin Azarian and I will be talking to you about alternative energy. For about the last six years, our house has been running almost entirely off of solar power. And you can see in these pictures our array of about 46 panels that in the summer completely run our energy demands. There are a lot of very cool benefits um, to using solar. Did you know that one hour in one hour the Earth receives enough sunlight that the Earth's energy needs could be met for an entire year? So solar really is a very, very powerful tool. The trick is in learning how to harness it properly. I'm just going to try and show you our electric meter over here. I don't know if you can see that, um, but usually that little arrow should be going uh, forwards, right? It, should, it shouldn't be the, the, the arrow head should be pointing towards the set of numbers, uh, and instead it's rolling backwards. Which and I mean at this at this rate it's it's a it's a very nice cool sunny day the perfect weather for solar production. I'm gonna go over now to Caitlin, who will tell you a little bit more. Hi guys, it's Caitlin. I'm here to talk about um, the solar panels at Catholic University. So at Catholic, we work hard at using renewable energy. We're actually 23rd in the nation for renewable energy currently, and a lot of it has to do with our use of solar panel technology. So we have the largest solar photovoltaic panel system in the District of Columbia with more than 2,600 solar panels. Um, these panels are on Aquinas Hall, Flather Hall, Gibbons Hall, Pangborn Hall, the Raymond, Raymond A. DeFleur Athletic Center, the Grounds and Maintenance Building, and O'Boyle's parking lot. Um, the PRIS also has um, panel picnic tables that were designed by Catholic University students. And in April of 2019, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency recognized Catholic University of America as the Green Power College champion. And it is ranked first in the Landmark Conference and 19th overall in the, with 37.9 megawatt hours of green energy purchased. Overall, with the energy project, we'll continue to grow with renewable energy and hopefully build with our solar power system. Thank you for that excellent summary, Caitlin. Indeed, be sure to look out for all of the solar panels around CUA. One of the more interesting buildings is Aquinas Hall, which has, in addition to its panels, what is known as a green roof. Green roofs are ones that have full or partial vegetation on them. If you are interested in learning more about the purpose of green roofs, check out the link in our description. Of course, the best example of a green roof is the lawn between the prison and the law school. Did you know that you are walking on the university garage? Now, you may have heard about the two most common types of alternative energy, solar and wind. Um, but did you know that there's a couple of other versions as well? One is hydroelectric, um, so basically dams, water wheels, uh, perhaps one of the oldest forms of alternative energy uh, that has existed long before fossil fuels were created. Um, there is also geothermal and there's biofuel. Thank you for joining us for this episode of CU Environmental Club TV. Tune in later this week to learn all about fair trade. This Wednesday, Linda Peters from KC Trees will be joining facilities for a virtual event all about trees. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm Anthony Apostolides.